Super. 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 What's up, nerds and nerdettes? Josh here. It's a brand new month, and you know what that means? A brand new batch of games is heading your way. That's right. I got in front of me the March game release list. So, sit down, buckle up, and enjoy. First on the list, we have Rockstar Energy Drink Tricycle Racing coming soon to a... Uh, just kidding, that's not a real game. But seeing how they'll do anything to compete with Monster, I would not not expect it someday soon. Alright, coming out on the PSVR on March 6th, we have Bravo Team. While we at Super BS are not huge fans of VR, we thought this might be a worthwhile release to those of you who are. It does look pretty generic and cost $40, but if you want a military shooter on VR with the graphical fidelity of an early 360 or PS3 game, then look no further. We have a smattering of Final Fantasy XV titles coming at you on March 6th. First of all, we have the Final Fantasy XV Windows Edition, which is obviously on PC. And then we have the Royal Edition, which comes out on PS4 and Xbox One. The Royal and Windows Edition contains all of the Season Pass content for Final Fantasy XV, along with the updates. However, we at Super BS are not certain if it contains the additional content found in the Royal Edition, such as the First Person Mode, a larger version of Insomnia, a new dungeon, the ability to manually drive the boat between Altesia and Cape Kayam. One of our favorite games is about to get bigger and probably better. Both cost $50. The Devil May Cry HD Collection is coming to PC, PS4, and Xbox One on March 13th. This collection contains the original Devil May Cry, Devil May Cry 2, and Devil May Cry 3 Dante's Awakening. The collection is $30 or $10 per game. The third Devil May Cry is one of Brank's favorite third-person action games with its amazingly tight gameplay, incredible challenge, and fun upgrade system. It's definitely worth checking out. This one should get docked a few points as it is a re-release of a collection released on PS3 and Xbox 360. However, it's not backwards compatible on Xbox One. Oh, Capcom, guess you gotta make your money somehow. Also on March 13th, we have Golem for PSVR. You already know our stance on VR, but I think this game looks pretty interesting. It is being developed by x people such as Marty O'Donnell, the composer for many of the Halo games, as well as the first Destiny, and Jamie Griezmer, a very important developer if you read Jason Schreier's Blood, Sweat, and Pixels, you'll learn a lot about him. It is in first person which seems to be a natural fit for a VR game, and it appears that you use the move controller to use your sword in combat. Not much else is known right now, not even the price. I definitely could imagine this getting a last minute delay. The Raven Remastered is hitting PC, PS4, and Xbox One on March 13th. A $30 remaster of a point and click adventure game may be a tough pill to swallow when there are often dozens if not hundreds of similar games being released in a given year. But if the story is good, then it may be worth the cash. We at Super BS are going to probably give this a hard pass, but if you want to play this old 2013 PC game on your PS4 or Xbox One, you'll soon have your chance. Moving along, on March 15th, we have Steins Gate Elite coming out on Nintendo Switch and Steins Gate Linear Bounded Phenogram HD on PS4. We might have to start calling March the month of remasters. Steins Gate Elite is an updated version of the original Steins Gate visual novel released in 2009. Now both of these games are Japan only, but if you want to import them, all the consoles are now region free, so be my guest. I couldn't find too much detail, nor did I really care to look into the whole gist of both games, but I saw that Steins Gate Elite was $70 to import. This is not my game. Kirby Star Allies is coming to Nintendo Switch on March 16th. I know the sweet Dr. Donna is a fan of most Kirby games. In my opinion, Kirby games are great, but not worth AAA pricing. Will I jump on Kirby Star Allies in the future? Who knows? Will the game drop to $20 and make it actually tempting? It's Nintendo, so probably not. It's $60 and I won't be able to weigh in on it until March 16th on Switch. Attack on Titan 2 is coming to PC, PS4, Xbox One, and Nintendo Switch on March 20th. I'm not an anime fan, or am I? But seriously, I'm not really into anime, but I love me some Attack on Titan. I think the world building is strong with this one. Do I need another Warriors game? No. No, I do not. I still wait for the RPG that this series deserves. Attack on Titan 2 is vertical maneuvering around the world on March 20th for $60, and it's going to be on every toaster that you've ever seen. 
Sea of Thieves. I know a lot of people have been anticipating this one. It releases on PC and Xbox One on March 20th. Sea of Thieves is a game that's been in development for several years and was first teased at E3 2016. In this game, you travel the high seas with your friends looking for buried treasure while fighting for your lives against other players. This is the first cross-platform released by Microsoft that looks interesting enough to try. Is it worth $59.99 price point? That's still to be determined, but it will be available to those of you who have or are going to purchase an Xbox Games Pass, which is only $10 a month. So you could theoretically rent the game for $10, and if you don't like it, quit your pass. Let's hope it's good until somebody says it isn't. Assassin's Creed Rogue Remastered. I don't know many people who are excited about this one, but it comes out on PS4 and Xbox One on March 20th. Since the release of the original Assassin's Creed game back in 2007, we've been blending into historically rich and cruel societies while either evading Templars or trying to get close enough to one to stick a hidden blade in their back. Assassin's Creed Rogue takes a different approach to Ubisoft's tried and true stealth adventure formula by putting you in the shoes of Shea Patrick Cormac, an assassin turned Templar. After being betrayed by the Brotherhood, he joins forces with their enemies for some good old revenge. Originally released in 2014, this is one of the Assassin's Creed games that I would have never guessed being worthy of a remaster. But if you're a story completionist, having the bridge between Black Flag and Unity join the new slash old generation of consoles might make it worth picking up. Titan Quest releases on PS4 and Xbox One on March 20th. This game always looked rad, but I'm really waiting for the Nintendo Switch release later this year. At $30, it seems a little steep for a 10-year-old game, but still tempting. It's coming hard on PS4 and Xbox One. Detective Pikachu hits Nintendo 3DS on March 23rd. What can I say about Detective Pikachu? I don't know much about it. Pikachu solves mysteries with a boy named Tim. He probably plays like a Professor Layton or Ace Attorney game, I'd assume. It came out in Japan a couple years ago, so I guess I could learn more if I wanted to. Spoilers ahead, I don't. Why they don't want to release this on Switch next year at the film? Well, that's a mystery you have to solve. It costs $40 and is inexplicably only playable on 3DS. Pure Farming 2018. I know a lot of people are excited about that one. Actually, no, I don't. Um, it comes out on PC, PS4, and Xbox One on March 23rd. This is our jam. Figuring out the best way to plant and harvest. Oh, boy. These city boys are going to have the time of their lives. As you all know, Super BS is all about farming sims, so everyone on the podcast will be playing the HE Double Hockey Six out of this. It costs $40 and is coming to PC, PS4, and Xbox One. Can't wait. Unimportant side note, I was being extremely sarcastic and I'm unsure who these games are even for. A Way Out is coming to PC, PS4, and Xbox One on March 23rd. When they showed this at E3 at the EA press conference, I was really impressed. In all honesty, it was the only game that EA showed that I was interested in after their horrible B-side blooper reel titled Mass Effect Andromeda. Full disclosure, I never played Brothers A Tale of Two Sons. The doctor said it was a real gem, but playing as both brothers at the same time was a bridge too far for me at the time. For $30, this one is definitely staying on my radar. It's coming out on PC, PS4, and Xbox One. If it does release on Switch, that may be the push I need to pick it up. Nino Kuni 2 Revenant Kingdom is releasing on PC and PS4 on March 23rd. I love the original. It might be my favorite PS3 game, tied with The Last of Us, obviously. I know Studio Ghibli is not in bed with Namco Bandai on this. They did bring back the extraordinary composer Joe Hisaishi and the Ghibli creator designer Yoshiyuka Mamos, so the aesthetic looks to be similar to the first. Hope the new combat system is good and that the story still brings the feels. I'll definitely be picking this up on the PS4. It's also coming to PC and it's $60. The Alliance Alive comes out on Nintendo 3DS on March 27th. This is a game that the Doctor is really looking forward to, loving Legend of Legacy. Dr. Donna regaled us that this is the spiritual sequel and fixes some problems with the first. It's $40, but it's only coming to 3DS, so Brank won't be taking part till the inevitable Ultimate release on Nintendo Switch. Far Cry 5! I know a lot of people are looking forward to this one, for real. Hits PC, PS4, and Xbox One on March 27th. Open World, the video game 5, aka Far Cry 5. Far Cry 4 is one of my favorite games of 2014. It improved upon Far Cry 3 in almost every possible way and added co-op, which totally changed the game. Can't wait for the gang at Super BS to take a crack at destroying cultists in Montana when this game drops March 27th. Being a Ubisoft game, $60 is probably a steal for all the content that will be provided. MLB The Show 18 releases on PS4 on March 27th. We at the Super BS usually take a hard pass at sports games. This will likely be the same. 
But for those of you who love sports games, I've heard nothing but positive stuff about MLB The Show. Hopefully they improve upon it meaningfully this year and it'll be worth your hard-earned $60. For us, it's a hard pass. I'm sorry if I mispronounced this. Atelier, Atelier Lighty and Suel, the Alchemist and the Mysterious Paintings. Assuming I didn't butcher that too bad, you probably know what I'm talking about if you're into this game. Releases on PC, PS4, Nintendo Switch on March 27th. The long-running series never seems to end. Back when it was first aired in the PS2 era, I considered dipping my toes. I missed my opportunity, or more likely missed constantly grinding a generic anime trope for dozens of hours. I do not regret my decision. The game will cost $60 and I wouldn't touch it even at $10. Also keep in mind I've never touched the series and don't plan on changing my stance. Last but not least, Agony releases on PC, PS4, and Xbox One on March 30th. A Kickstarter game from 2016, it appears to be a first-person horror game in the vein of Amnesia, with a much darker, gorier aesthetic. Would not be surprised if this game is delayed, as there is very little information on it regarding its price. Alright guys, thanks for tuning in. In case you couldn't tell by the uh, insistence on a Nintendo Switch release, most of the commentary was written by Brank. I did do a couple of them, but I was the voice behind the madness. You can catch our podcast once a week on Podbean, iTunes, Podcast.com, Google Play, Stitcher, and anywhere you get your podcasts. Also, be sure to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And like, share, and subscribe to our podcast. We would be incredibly grateful. This has been the March Game Release List. Until next time. Okay. That's uh, to us people that can feel things, it, it, uh, it hurts.